Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, we are from group 4. My name is Rujana Belkopia, and I'm here with my friends, Divan Pasharishkiani and Raisa Karya Devia. Today, we are going to talk about what is the role of the bank as financial institution. First, the background. The role of the bank is very important for a country. Thus, all economic activities are not separated from the world of banking. In running its business as a financial institution, the daily activities of the bank will not be separated from the financial sector. This is in accordance with the main activity of a bank, namely buying money from the public, collecting funds through savings and then selling the money obtained from fundraisers by channeling it to the public in the form of loans. A bank can simply be defined as a financial institution whose main activity is to collect funds from the public and channel these funds back to the public and provide other banking services. Based on the above background, this presentation is entitled What is the Role of Banks in Financial Institutions? A financial institution is a, in general, can be said that a bank is a finance institution that can act as a intermediary for the household sector and the industrial sector, especially in absorbing funds from the household sector as the form of savings and channeling it to the industrial sector in, as a form of investment credit. Although in practice, the absorption and distribution of the funds itself can occur both ways, for the household sector and also for the industrial sector as well. And financial institution in the financial world act as a institution that provide financial services to their customer, which is to the public, that are generally regulated by financial regulation from the government. Uh, types of banks. There are three types of banks. The first one is central banks. This bank has the task to regulate the circulation of money, mobilization of funds, banking, credit, and maintaining the currency stability, and also printing the currency. The second one is commercial banks. These banks offer a variety of products and services to the public with with functions such as collecting funds from the public directly in various forms, like providing loans to the people in need, buying and selling currency, and also selling insur insurance services, and so on. And the last one is rural banks, which can be called as BPR, uh, which is a people credit bank. It's a supporting bank that has limited operational areas and it funds with limited services, such as providing a limited amount of credit, accepting deposits from the general public, providing financing on the principle of profit sharing, and so on. Source of economic growth came from four sectors which is the first one is a natural factors. The skills, education, and training of the labor force have a direct effect on the growth of the economy. A skilled, well-trained workforce is also more productive and will produce a high quality output that adds efficiency to the economy itself. The second one is a human factor. Improvements and increased investment in physical capital, such as roadways, machinery, and factories will also reduce the cost and increase the efficiency of economic output physical capital. And the third one, which is resources, the quantity and availability of natural resources also affect the rate of economic growth because the, the, the discovery of more natural resources such as oil or minimal, mineral deposits will give a boost to the economy by increasing a country's production capacity. And the last one, which is improvement in technology. The application of a, bit, a better technology means the same amount of labor will be more productive and the economic growth will advance at a more lower cost than usual. 
The next one is how does bank contribute to economic growth? Banking sector often may directly increase growth by improving the quality of financial services and increasing funds available, or indirectly by improving the efficiency of financial intermediaries, both of which may reduce the cost of financing, in turn increase capital accumulation and economic growth. Commercial banks play an important role in the financial system and the economy. As a key component of the financial system, banks allocate allocate funds from servers to borrowers in an efficient manner. These financial services help to make the overall economy more efficient. This slide is about the role of banking in the economy of a country. Uh, it is hoped that the development of the financial sector, especially change in the composition or structure of banking in Indonesia, uh, can be a positive change to the national economy. This is because financial institutions, especially banks, have a very important role in the movement of the finance of the Indonesian economy. When the state uh, is in the process of economic recovery, banks generally have not been able to optimally carry out their main function as an uh, international financial intermediary, which describes the ratio of the ratio of the amount of credit extend, extended to third parties, or basically we call LDR or loan to, loan to deposit ratio. The intermediary role of banking institution greatly influence the economic growth of the of a country when there is a decrease uh, in the amount of credit extended due to prudence uh, on the part of the bank there will indirectly be a slowdown in economic growth in the country concept uh, there is a case uh, in encouraging domestic economic growth, the role of banking can never be missed. Uh, how could it not be? Banking as an inter intermediary institution would certainly be one of the factors triggering economic move movement in all sectors. Uh, the increase uh, in demand for bank credit, whether for consumption, uh, working capital, or investment credit, will certainly boost processing power business growth and increase investment. In Indonesia alone, the ratio of asset to gross uh, the domestic product or GDP was only 55.1% at the end of 2019, uh, according to an economist at PT Bank Permata TBK, Joshua Perdede, in responding to the development issue, uh, Indonesia needs to increase its the domestic financing capacity. And because uh, of the pandemic, the banking intermediary function tends not to be optimal considering that domestic demand tends to slow down. Both uh, consumption and invest investment, which encourage lower demand for bank credit increase in, in efficiency and strengthening of banking capital are also expected to be realized in such a way that the banking intermediary function can continue to increase is in respons response to the challenge of financing Indonesia economic development uh, to achieve Indonesian 2045 Vision. So Indonesia needs to increase its domestic financing capacity, including the banking intermediary function as well as financial inclusion condition that can still be improved. Uh, maybe that's all we can tell you. Thank you.